Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a great video for you but I'm gonna try to give you guys a lot of information on, on what I'm doing. Um, I have to make a custom made birthday outfit for one of my clients. She is turning 25 years old and I will be using a beaded mesh, spandex, appliques and a button for this halter dress. So just pay attention, take notes and stay along for the ride. For this project, I should say, you'll only need these two patterns, your basic bodice and your basic skirt. Mine are size 6, my client is a size 2. Let's get started guys. Okay guys, so I cut out my front skirt and I cut out my back skirt. And now the reason why I didn't put any darts in it right now is because I'm going to place this pattern on my dress form and I'm going to actually do the darts on the dress form. And don't worry, this looks really short, I know, but my client, she is 4'9", she's turning 25, and she wants a little short dress for her birthday. So I'm going to show you guys how to do your darts on the mannequin, okay? Okay guys, so I am done with the darts. As you guys see, I just placed my pattern on the dress form. I put a pin on the side seam to hold it in place. I put it on the other side to hold it in place. You put a pin in the center, and whatever you have less to access fabric, this will be your dart. Okay, so now you have two darts in the center. And now you're gonna do the same thing to the back. So turn your dress form around, grab your pattern, and place it. I'm gonna show you guys again. I'm going to talk you guys through it. So you place the right side of your fabric to the dress form, okay? Then you are going to pin your side seams down, one on that side and then one to the other side, okay? Take a pin, pin your fabric down. Then you are going to take your fabric all this extra fabric and then you're going to place a pin in the center make sure you guys find the center of your pattern and then as you guys can see you have this empty space here and then you have this empty space here and then once you bring this together this will be your dart see there's no extra fabric here and no extra fabric here so this extra fabric that you just had is now going to be your dart. All you need to do is follow your princess back seam and this also leads into your dart. So you're going to take the fabric, you're going to get some pins, and then you are going to place the pins and you are going to make your dart. And for those of you who ask me about my nails, yes I can sew with nails on. It actually takes me a little bit longer to pin of course because of these nails. But that's okay. As long as I can sew, 
I'll be fine. And also, another hint, the dart is actually telling you what to do. So you see, you can't stop here. The dart is actually telling me to stop here. All the extra fabric is here. And this is for the butt area. And then you do the same thing to the other side. All this excess fabric here, that's going to be your dart. So you take the extra fabric. You're going to go ahead and grab some pins. Then you're going to start from the top. And then you're going to pin down. Guys, you're going to take your pin. And you're going to put it down. And that is the top of your dart. Take another pin. And you're going to do it again, guys. Put it down. And one more pin. Okay. So this is the back. The back two darts and then you have your front two darts the front two darts are always shorter the back darts are always a little bit longer so remember that guys so the skirt is done so now all you have to do is go to the sewing machine sew your darts and now we're gonna start on the top Okay guys, so I cut out my bodice pattern. This is what it looks like. And I know you guys are wondering if she wants a halter, why am I cutting out a full bodice? I like doing it this way because it gives me a guide. And once I put it on a mannequin, I'm gonna show you guys why cutting out a full bodice helps you. Sometimes people actually just drape it and cut it on the mannequin, which is actually not that bad. You can do that as well. But me, for this video's sake, I'm gonna show you guys that cutting out your basic bodice for a halter, how it can help you in many different ways, okay? So let's place it on the mannequin now. Anyway, I already have this side already pinned. So like I told you guys before, whatever space you have left over, that's gonna be your dart. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna go from the center of your bust and then you're gonna squeeze and it's gonna make you go all the way down. But if you have a dress form, all you need to do is follow your princess seam, okay? So take your extra fabric, get a pin, and then you are gonna place it in the fabric and make your dart. Okay, then you're gonna keep grabbing this extra fabric until you go all the way down. Okay, and the front is done and the skirt is done. Now, here's the tricky part. I'm gonna show you guys how to cut your halter. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna start right here at the underarm. And I know my client wants a halter, so I'm gonna take my scissors and make sure you guys know what you're doing before you cut and make sure you guys are watching what you're doing. Don't have the TV on, don't have the music on. Just make sure you know exactly where you're going. And I know I'm gonna go from under the underarm, I'm gonna cut from here, and I'm gonna go all the way to this corner. I'm gonna do it for you guys. So I'm gonna cut. Okay, cut. I'm gonna continue to go all the way up. I'm trying not to get in the camera. It's very hard. Forgive me, guys. And oop, I'm going to keep going all the way up. See? And there's one side of the halter. So what you guys can do, you can actually take this off, the mannequin, fold it, and copy this side to the other side. But then I'm going to do this side separate because I might like this side better, and I might want to take a little bit more off, okay? So I'm gonna do the other side as well. Again, I'm gonna start from underneath the underarm. I know my arm is in the way, excuse me guys, but it's hard to do this with one hand. So I'm taking my scissor. I'm gonna show you guys this way. 
And I'm gonna go all the way to the top. Remember guys, this is the front of my halter. The halter top and then the back is gonna be a little bit lower. So I don't have a pattern for this and you don't got you guys don't need one either. So what you guys are gonna do, this is the easy method. You guys are gonna measure the back. You guys are gonna measure from side seam, right? All the way to side seam. And her side seam to side seam back is 14 inches, right? Next, what you're gonna do, you guys are going to measure from the top of the side seam where it ended to the bottom of her waist, okay? Which is seven. So you guys are gonna cut out a piece of fabric that is 14 inches across and seven inches down. And I already have mine already done. So this is what the back is gonna look like. You guys are gonna do the same thing to the other side. Put the right side of the fabric on the side seam and then you guys are gonna pin. So I'm just eyeballing everything. And that's pretty damn good too, honestly. And then just match up your center back and see how that's looking. Yeah, that's looking pretty damn good, guys. It goes from the halter, it goes from the side, and it goes to the back. So this, all this is gonna be finished with satin elastic bias tape to close it. So now what you guys are gonna do you guys are gonna actually sew all your darts first. That's the first thing you're gonna do is just sew your front darts, sew your bust darts, sew your skirt front darts, and then your skirt back darts. Once that's done, then you put the lining in there. And then once the lining is in there, you do the basics. If you haven't seen the basic, um, the basics of my satin elastic bias tape video, make sure you guys go watch that. And then also, I'm gonna do a two inch high neck. And then she wants this applique to go on top of the neck piece. This is very dramatic. It's for her 25th birthday again, and it's going to be very sharp and very shiny. Yep, so you cut out about two inches. Just like that. And that's it. You just cut out a regular square. And if you're unsure of how thick it is, just get your ruler and measure and see how much you have here. So here is a piece that I actually cut out. And it's going to be folded so it can be one inch. Right, guys? And then you're just going to place it around your neck just to see if it fits your neck. Oh, right there. This is going to be a very, a very simple dress, guys. Like I said before, all you needed was your basic skirt pattern, your basic bodice. You just free eye the back. This is going to be a zipper in the back. You're going to finish this off with satin elastic bias tape. The front is going to be mm -hmm. um, lined. Not the back though. Just the front. And the skirt, of course, front and back is going to be lined. And then you're going to have this neck piece. And again, she wants the appliques. And the appliques are going to be right at the neck for some added bling. So this is gonna be freaking awesome. It came out nice, right? It came out really good. I'm nowhere near finished. The only thing that I did was the lining, the top, and I added the neckline. And I also, like I told you guys, I added the satin elastic bias tape to the sides and it goes all the way to the back. 
So the top looks freaking amazing. Like I said, the top is done. So now we are going to work on the bottom, guys. Yes. Okay, guys. So as you guys can see, the top is done. The skirt is done. The neck piece is halfway finished. Let me show you guys the back. The only thing I have to do now is just add my zipper and put a snap at the back. But other than that, this dress is completely finished. So if you guys follow the steps that I told you, your design should come out just like this. It's very clean, it's very simple, but it's very elegant. And it's a showstopper piece for sure. Like, I'm really thinking about making this for myself. Okay, so for this garment, you are going to need to use your basic skirt pattern you guys are going to need your basic bodice pattern you guys are going to need a lining fabric you guys are going to need your base fabric i guess any sequence or beaded mesh which is this silvery metallic fabric you guys are also going to need satin elastic bias tape. but check out the video within my videos it says satin elastic bias tape how to and then that's basically it if you guys want to see my client wearing this dress Make sure you guys add me on Snapchat. It's Classic Royalty D. D as in David. It's Classic Royalty D as in David. And you can see my client trying her dress on um, on my Snapchat. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I promise you guys more videos will be coming very soon. Prom season is over. So I'm going to come at you guys very hard with these videos. And thank you guys for watching. Highly appreciate it. Mwah.